Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sophia Goel and finally we are on the last part of our react interview question series. Yay! Okay, so this yay is not for me. This is for you. I hope you understand that. <laughs> How will I benefit with that? Okay, okay, fine. I'm just kidding. Yay is for me also because uh, it is completed for my part. Like I have completed my part, my part also. So I'm very excited about that. Okay. Uh, so friends, as I have requested earlier in the previous two videos, I would like to request again, please do not skip the video as you might have seen, if you have seen the other videos, you know, like I am providing a lot of insights in these videos. So that will be helpful. And again, please, please watch the JavaScript interview question series that I have, you will be getting in the I button above. Uh, that will help you out a lot. See, if you are giving a React interview, the JavaScript interview questions will definitely come in your way. And it will be, you know, very, very, very important for you to know about the JavaScript basics before going on to React. So 90, 95% of the interviews will be asking you about the JavaScript interview questions as well. They will be asking you JavaScript majorly, right? Even some of the people are there who believe that if you know JavaScript, you will be able to work on React. So everyone will be focusing more on the JavaScript interview questions always, fine. Okay, okay. So enough time, enough chit chat. Uh, let's start with the react interview questions part three. Yeah, so here we come. Okay, uh, let's begin Oh, so first question is what are pure components? Okay, so if you have used the class based components There are pure components there and uh, I don't know like how much you have used it I have not used it too much, but uh, they are used widely and people ask a lot of questions about these components like what are pure components? What are the advantages and disadvantages of pure components? and uh, you know how they are helping you out and uh, you know there was one person usne mujhe bahut ghumaya ye pure components pe like he kept asking me a lot of question i told him the advantages i told him the disadvantages then he said that uh, because of this small disadvantage you will not be using the pure component you will not be using the benefit of pure component so there could be a lot of questions around that i would like you know i would like to advise you to you know go deeply into that and study about it Fine. The next question is, what is use effect hook? See, friends, I told you in the previous video that, uh, you know, they will ask about the hooks and uh, you definitely need to know about the use state and use effect hook, even if you have not used it professionally or, you know, in your offices. And this use effect is very, very important because on use state, there are just one or two questions like why use state is used and how use state is different from set state. But on this use effect hook, since it gives you a lot of uh, functionalities, a lot of variations. So there are, again, a lot of questions on the usage of this use effect hook, fine. So the uh, one question will be, how can we call it once? The next could be, what happens if we do not pass a dependency array? So again, it has this one callback function and other is this dependency array, which is optional. Fine. Uh, the next question is like, how to do cleanup or, you know, how to use it like component will unmount, you know, like, uh, for what purpose we use component will unmount is for unmounting so how we can do this in a use effect loop see the benefit of using use effect is uh, there were various life cycle methods in class based components which can be used in this single use effect hook but now how uh, use effect is differentiating between those components and how use effect is you know uh, doing their functionality or following their functionality in itself you need to know about that completely so these are the related questions to that only and again like how to call it on the basis of specific parameters so you know this question could be like uh, for example there are only so and so details you want to render the component on the basis of those details only you don't want to render it again and again what will you do or how will you pass in the dependency array what are the things that needs to be passed there fine the next question will be why functional components are better than class based components okay so yeah uh, like Earlier, the state was there, not there in the functional component. It was there only in the class based components. But now we can have the state there also. So why it, there was a need to create uh, this kind of functionality? Why was the what was the requirement of this big update? Uh, now people are moving to functional components, not the class based components. So like, how are they better than the class based components? Why people are moving to that? Right. The next question is how to pass data from child component to parent component in React. So this is also an important question. Normally what you do is you pass the data from parent to child using props. But there are scenarios uh, when you have something in the child component but you need to get that in the parent component. So how will you do that? How will you accomplish that? 
Now the next question is different ways to add styling in react component C. I told you in the first video that there might be a time when you need to develop something from scratch and you need to decide the architecture. This is the question related to that point of view only. Like there are various ways, three are specified by react only but apart from that also there are various ways in which you can add styling to react and you need to know about all of them or what are the advantages and disadvantages of all of those stylings that you are using and then on the basis of your requirement you can decide uh, which one to use fine so first you need to know the different ways to add styling okay the next question is uh, you know which is the better choice for react state management now see this is related to prop drilling I told you one issue right in the beginning in the first video that there is a, an issue of prop drilling so this is the fix for that uh, you know making our state management better now there is this one thing provided by react which is the context API and another is an external library called Redux which you can use so now the question comes along like which is better and people often can argument that you know you are using an external library you know which will be adding a, adding some load context api is a part of react only you do not need to add anything extra there but in redux you are adding an extra library so definitely you need to know like what is the use of redux why are we using redux there or which one is better right uh, which is which will be your choice in what kind of projects you will be using context api and, and where you will be using redux fine uh, the next question is what is react.memo and why is it used? So there is you know react.memo which can be used for uh, memoization in uh, react functional components. So you need to know about this or you know how memoization is done in react. So friends uh, you know sometimes the interviewer is also trying to know a process of memoization as a whole. So memoization can be done in javascript also and this concept is used see memoization is a concept not uh, something you know uh, something pre-developed in javascript or something this is a concept that can be used uh, for memory management or, or for you know you can say caching so that is something you should know as a whole like what is memoization how memoization is working in javascript why do we need it then you know how it is working in react what happens is sometimes people just know that we have this react.memo which is used for memoization in react and then when somebody is asking them like as a whole uh, what is this concept they don't know about it so whenever you study something study completely from beginning to end like if this is done then what is it why is it done how it is done and what was the basic concept of this thing fine uh, the next thing is again you have known like what is react router dom and uh, now in the react router dom if you are using like if you are not using server side rendering or if you are not using react js then to navigate to different pages you need to use this react router dom now there are other questions like they have this route parameter if, if you are using just only route what will be the issues uh, if you want to exactly go to some particular path then the, you need to use the exact parameter so what is the use of that exact now there is a switch uh, that is you know wrapping around the whole uh, all the routes basically so you need to know like what is the use of switch what what was happening when we were not using switch and what are the benefits of that uh, and apart from that you know uh, I would say somewhat related to it is a link component that we use instead of a href there so these are the things that you need to know in detail like how it is working and why it is used and what is the use of everything there so that will also help you out I hope fine uh, so yeah uh, I had these 24 questions which I had covered you know 888 questions in each video and it is completed now. Uh, thank you very much. If you have watched the whole series thank you very much for watching it and I hope it helps you out. And this is the last video friends so I think in this uh, definitely you can tell me like what were the questions that are missed and uh, what more can be added to these questions or maybe you can mention in the comment section i will be you know putting it in the description or putting it in my pinned comment so that other people can see those questions as well and i hope it was helpful i hope it helped you clear, uh, clear your interviews uh, and if you think it did please like the video and please share it to your friends who need these interview questions and subscribe to my channel for more uh, informative videos or for more help in your interview processes um, and I, I will be coming with uh, something new something different and yes of course with the redux interview question also so for that uh, please subscribe my channel uh, thank you very much see you in the next video bye bye